And welcome back to Jeff Koinange live in the smoky Villa Rosa Kempinski. I tell you, that's the kind of show we're having when the Grand Mullah shows up and former Deputy Speaker, former Member of Parliament for Lagdera. When they both show up, you know it's one hell of a show, if you will. Tweets coming in very thick, very fast. Keep tweeting at Farah Malim, at Ahmed Nasir Law, at Koinange Jeff. The hashtag is politics 101 as always let me just read a tweet here from a very staunch supporter of uh, your opponent Aidan Dwale his name is Ahmed Mohammed from Isli the question he's asking actually is a pretty valid question he says former US House Speaker Dennis Hastert sentenced to 15 months in prison after pleading guilty to hush money ask the Grand Mullah will we ever have such an arrest and subsequent conviction here in Kenya or is the judiciary also part of the problem? Graham Muller. No, I mean, uh, I, don't, I, th I don't think this is an issue for the judiciary. And uh, one of the weaknesses, you know, one of the failures of this government uh, led by the president and his deputy president, and I say this so many times, is the runaway corruption. I mean, corruption has become part of our life. I mean, this government has done some achievements, but in terms of fighting corruption, in terms of even containing corruption, I mean, we have never seen corruption on this scale. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it's not because the judiciary is weak or the DPP's office is weak, but because we have a culture that we don't punish people who steal. Mm. And uh, I don't think uh, I don't think there's uh, no hope in my and, view. Yeah, and you're defending one of them who's been accused of stealing 791 million shillings. No, no, no. no. And why Guru <laughs> is your client? <laughs> I don't want to see you for defamation. You are my friend. I will spare you. She has not been convicted no she has not even been charged she has not even been accused by anybody come on the, the affidavit by the, kabura the, who is kabura i mean come on i mean the fact that someone abuses you in an affidavit doesn't mean you are guilty of anything anway guru has not been charged she has not been accused there's a police investigation on the matter and uh, as you recall uh, both her and myself has asked for a judicial commission of inquiry why do you want that let, why her? Let, let me tell you why i mean nys is a big matter in this country i mean everybody is talking about it so many people have been mentioned in different offices and i think the best way to bring this to an end is let's have a judicial commission of inquiry so that all the witnesses can come we can the president can appoint a judge of the high court or the court of appeal call witnesses close this chapter one is unfair. are you saying she's innocent 100%. If she was not innocent, I would not have represented her. Take it from me. What should we do? Did you hear this? Yeah, but uh, you see that many cases that Ahmed had lost and uh, he represented the people. I mean, Ahmed is a, is a lawyer. Yeah. And when you bring a matter to a lawyer, <laughs> as long as the money is good, <laughs> he's there in the business for it. There's a good chance. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. He doesn't care. No, 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 let me, let no, me no, just there's, there's conviction also. There is, I, we, yes. If I don't believe a client's case, I can't represent the client. And yeah. you believe your client? 100%. You yes. believe no, no. White Guru is innocent? 100%, yes. Look. And, and this affidavit by Kapura? No, there's a, I mean, it's uh, bullshit. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, that, Jeff, and, Jeff. and that's an understatement. Jeff, I don't know. I, 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 I also believe in the, in the sanctified doctrine of the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. Uh -huh. So I, I can You're taking the high road. I can, Moral never, high ground. I, I can never condemn a Kenyan uh, on any offense un until that person is proven guilty, which, which is fair. And I think, but the point is that what Ahmed is saying, corruption is in such a scale in such a scale we, in the olden days corruption used to be based on the on the collections the ordinary revenue the ordinary revenue the you know the developmental revenue and the recurrent expenditure on the developmental revenue nowadays we steal the the, the loans we we go and solicit for loans outside and we take them which means we're shackling your children and your grandchildren and great-grandchildren to keep on paying those debts and folks are, are, are walking away with it are, are, you, are you saying we lost the initiative no, no, no. We, I mean, the corruption is there. It's, it's in the system. It's in the real substantive system of this country. And, and there's no way you can deal with that. Mm. You see, you, if, if I steal my own cows, there's no way you can find those cows. You know what I mean? It's, it's the managers of the country who are doing it. But, Graham Mula. But, but let me just finish it for uh -huh. you. It's the managers. So, so the, the problem is, nobody is going to go and arrest those people. If you guys look, were in look, power, would it be any different? Look, look. If let I was in power, if, it I was, have been, if yes. the court was in power, it would have been worse. Look, take it from me. If I'm in power myself, I can only talk for myself. Oh, and I talk, can also talk, talk, talk hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I can also talk for the for, for, for the principles that we believe in as a caucus right yes. now within the court coalition itself. 
and and if if it does happen that there's going to be corruption to the extent it is now or even in a in any significant manner i'll be the first one to bolt out there and oh, say that on. we have a problem come on you're saying that now you're not even in there you're out of the tent but that's, what, that's what i'm telling you i mean i was in parliament for five years as a deputy speaker and and we put quite a bit of sense into that parliament but Graham Miller says if you guys were in power now it'd be worse that's what he just said but he's talking about that collective power he's not talking about uh, no, but, no, no, but, but no. what Let i can also tell you what i can also tell you is that he's never seen us being in power no you were in, in you, you were in power no, last no, no. time we had we had a what, what did we have that was not power that was pseudo, <laughs> pseudo power the real power the real power rested with kibaki and his team you had nusu mukate no there's no nusu mukate it's not even a quarter not even 10 percent other than those vehicles that uh, Raila and the rest of us used to run around with and the salute we used to get and maybe the red carpet in places, there was no substantive power. Otherwise, we would not have lost the elections, my friend. The substantive power was with the same people who again brought in no, no, their team. I think you lost the elections because more Kenyans voted for the other side. No, 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 but no, I mean, no, in no, terms no. of corruption, no, 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 no. there is no way court can persuade Kenyans that, that if they come to power, they will be less corrupted than the current regime mm. because when they were in power, they were as corrupt as the present regime. Mm. Look, so the, the, I mean, it's a problem with our politicians, the, 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 and it's the, in our DNA. The, not the, our DNA, the most, but most it is part of our political culture that when you capture power, part of the remuneration is to, to be steal. corrupt, to, to steal. steal, to steal. Yes. So, Jeff. Yes. Coalition government. Comparatively, all the governments we had—the first government, the second government of Moi we had, and and the first term of Kibaki when he ruled alone. It was the best government we've had in this country throughout the history. So what are you trying to say? Only what coalition to governments say that, work? You see, well, now the coalition government works so well because if this, this part, half of, the, uh, half of the coalition government wants to steal, the other ones would be whistleblowers. And if this one wants to steal, the other one would be whistleblowers. No, no, no. So, no. so it because was, of that. Actually, it was not like that. And when the coalition government, when they was stealing, when one side is still is to balance the books, the other side used to steal. No, 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 <laughs> it was equal. It was equal. No, no, yes, no, 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 yes. no, 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 no. It was no, like no, that because we no. lived in that government, you know. No, 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 but tell no, me no, something, no, Graham Muller. No. Does Cord think that the only way this country can be governable is if there's a coalition government? Is that the only no, way no, they can? No, or they can no, the only no. way they can get in the tent. The history, the history of coalition government is dead. If they think they will get another coalition, I can tell my friend they are dreaming. We're not interested, they to be honest you, we don't want to bring in these uh, crooks and thieves and corrupt guys into our government. When we, have a, when we form the government, we never want to carry this baggage with us anyway. Are you saying you have enough of them? No, 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 we don't have enough. We have none of them as, as, as of today. And the few that are going to imagine, we throw them out. There's no question. We just they, they have more than their fair share of the corrupt, look, the look, crooks, and the thieves. Jeff, Jeff <laughs> let me tell you, if we have any of those ones, I promise you we'll jettison them. We'll throw them out. You know what I mean? That's what you're saying. Overboard, That's what you're actually, saying now. Into the sea. Into the sea, and you watch it. We're going to be in the next election for your information. Look, in 10 years of Kibaki's government, you know how much we borrowed in terms of dollars? Go on. You know how much we borrowed in terms of dollars? All this infrastructure you see everywhere, all over, less than $2 billion. In three years of, 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 uh, of, uh, of uh, Jubilee government, we borrowed $7.5 billion. You're getting my point? And we're still not done yet, by the way. It's no, going no, on but, every day. But, but I think I, I agree and, and you can't with when you borrow, you know, when, 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 when you have more hang projects, hang you have on, to borrow on, more. No, no. Uh. Where is the project? What do you have to show Come for on, it? Come on, SGR, SGR is on its way. Oh, my God. Uh. My foot, SGR. You know how much that cost us comparative to what it, what it costs elsewhere? The, the Ethiopian one, the Libyan one. The one of the, 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 the train is different in Kenya. You know, no, you have no, to no, use no, the no. local train. <laughs> 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 Libya is a desert. Yeah. <laughs> it was going, it was going and kissing Regular. the sea. Is there any way Cord can win the next election? You know, you can't predict, but you see, I mean, uh, for I mean, there are many. No, no, Kenya ah Ahmed will still be on our payroll. You know, Ahmed is a lawyer, by the way. <laughs> Ahmed will have his services <laughs> available to us. No, 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 no. no he will no, have no, his no, services no, available no, no, now no. to the Jubilee. He had it available to Moi's government. He had it available to Kibaki's government. He'll still have it available to us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, first, I mean, we don't know what will happen. But, you know, I mean, in terms of the few things we can project, I don't think they're on the right trajectory. I mean, if you, if you want to demonstrate every week at once, when will you have the blueprint? When will you have a strategy on how to win elections or this kind of things? Mm -hmm. I mean, code is playing the all politics of yesterday, you know. Demonstration, when there's really no need for demonstration. We have a constitution we fought for 30 years. I thought all the issues of governance were solved by this constitutional dispensation. Mm. But every time you don't have your way, you say, oh, we want to throw the, even the Supreme Court, you know, they're saying that they want to storm the Supreme Court. They want to storm the Central Bank. They want, next time you will go to the army headquarters. <laughs> no, 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 Central <laughs> Bank. No, no, sorry. The, the, okay, Central Bank. 
Joroge is trying to do his best. He's doing, he's doing his job. He's trying to do his best, but of course you can see it's a failed system. You know what I mean? What the, the I mean, you, don't, you don't wait until there's a collapse. If, what is the purpose of a regulators? The regulators regulate these things before the crash happens. But right now the banks are crashing the way they're crashing. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I'm told there's so many of them on the radar right now. And why? Because of corruption. Because the books, people keep two sets of books. Yes, but then there was another administration before Joroge, don't forget. And Joroge is trying to right past wrongs, probably. That, that's what I'm saying. But you see, when, when chess, chess uh, you know, gets closed, and, 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 you know, how long did it take? But anyway, he's trying his hard. There's no question about that. And he's reopened it again, yes. which, which people are pleased with. A lot of Kenyans are pleased with Correct. that. Correct. So he's, he's not a corrupt guy himself. Everybody knows that. But uh, we have a systemic problem, as, as, as we had said from the beginning. It's a systemic. It's countrywide. It's in every sector, in okay. every regulator. Let's go to the judiciary, Graham Willow. Does the entire judiciary need to be reconstituted, in your opinion? Because I know the Chief Justice is, is, is retiring because of age, basically, right? Because of age, he's retiring in June. Uh, Deputy Chief Justice is on her way out. Right, that leaves, what, five? Should they all go home? No, no, no. I mean, the judiciary is in a good state of health. I can say that without any fear of contradiction. We have just, you know, we have gone through the vetting process. The vetting process ended last month. All the judges were vetted. I mean, we have created a new Supreme Court. We have, you know, 70% of the judges are new. Of course, as, you know, all other Kenyan institutions, there are challenges, you know, here and there. Mm. What about Tunoi? Mm -hmm. Tunoi, mm -hmm. Tunoi, Tunoi is, a, you know, Tunoi is an old regime. So, I mean, it's from the coalition government that passed, you know. <laughs> but the good thing is that I think but, there's, but, a but the there's a judgment. The, but, the, but the Supreme Court is from the coalition government. <laughs> yeah. There's a it, judgment. It's, it's not a, there's a, a judgment a coming up on 25th of uh, next month yes. that will hopefully address that, those issues. Uh, one judgment is on Tunoi. On Tunoi and uh, Rawal. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. That is on the retirement age. Retirement age. No, no, we are talking about the corruption issue. Yes. No, no. If the retirement age, for example, the court says they should retire at 70. It has superseded you. Yes, this will stop. <coughs> and no, will go not. home. It should not stop. We want to see. We want to see whether actually this thing did happen. Whether he was paid because $2 the million. Matter, the matter is, you see, if the, if the person leaves, that it doesn't end there. It's not the end of it. I mean, if, uh, if indeed, if indeed they're able to prove that this, this, no, no, money, that, this we, we don't know, we don't know how this tribunal will conduct its affairs, and uh, I think it has started, and many witnesses were given. I mean, just one of the one of the interesting testimonies I had is uh, according to one of the witnesses who, who, <laughs> when this money was given because it was so huge. One of the parties who was carrying carrying it said, "How will we count this money? It's so much." Then the other one said, "We have to buy these machines they use in the banks for counting." Yes, yes. <laughs> Which of course, is it was that much. No, no, it was that it's, much. It's uh, it's 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 fair. In Does the, the Supreme Court need two million dollars if you have that's to a, if you have to count two million dollars? That's a lot of money that you did not earn in any legitimate manner. Yes, but, but you know, uh, you I mean, uh, this country. I mean, we have to. I mean, unfortunately, nobody's thinking this hard. But you know, in the next month, we will not have a chief justice. We will not have a deputy chief justice. Uh, one judge of the Supreme Court. That's three out of three, seven. Three out of seven, and. Uh, the JAC, I'm sure, will uh, start recruiting this process, and by August to September, we'll have all those positions. But there's a great opportunity, you know, for the courts to be reconstituted, for us to have a fresh... Uh, Who would you want to see as the next CJ? No, it's not me. No, I'm just asking, because you're senior counsel. Yes, yes, okay. That's, and don't tell me that's... smoking Wanjala. <laughs> I'm not saying smoking, but you see, if smoking becomes the CJ, he will be a good CJ, I can tell you. Okay. I mean, he has impeccable record, he has gone through... Uh, he has taught at the university. He was a senior fellow at the yeah. Key Corruption Committee. He's smoking. He is now in the super and jurisprudentially he's smoking. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, yes. that, that's for the JC to determine. And sure. let, let me tell you, you know, many Kenyans are fear about this process, but I can tell you that when the JC undertakes a process like this, it is so free, it is so fair, it is so transparent that the best candidate for the job will win it. Mushmur, what Take do you it think? from me. What do you think? Jeff, Jeff, you, you know, I, 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 I don't agree with Ahmed at all. Because Ahmed is, is making a presumption right now and hoping that the Tunoi issue itself will be overtaken by another technicality. And this matter does not come into the open. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. we, we want to see indeed if there was a corruption that took place. No, that, if, that's what I'm with you. I'm with you. But if indeed yes. it has taken place, yes. then you're talking about four judges who are going to be out also because there was a bench of four. You, you know what I mean? No, no. Uh, hang on a minute. Okay. Hang on a minute. There was a bench of four. Mm -hmm. According to so, the evidence, there's only one judge who took this money. Yeah, but there's only but one then, judge who took money, but there's a bench that reached that decision. That decision. <coughs> you, you know what I mean? And if it's indeed it's true that he's the one who wrote the judgment, or uh, then 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 it, it will be fair to assume that the money was was not just uh, confined to one person. Who would you want to see as the as, next as CJ? The, as the, in the next CJ? Yes. Frankly, I, 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 it's, it's not, it's not something that, you know, we can just 
just, a, just, a qualified just, Kenyan, you know, the a, best a qualified, qualified Kenyan. Okay, let me honest, ask you this. Let me, let me help Kenyan. you out. Yes. Yeah. Attorney General, Gitu Mugai. Gitu Mugai is, is uh, I don't know if the stint as an Attorney General, which is a political office itself, which is the legal advisor to the President itself, is, 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 is going to have altered certain aspects of his own character that I, I knew myself way before he became that. But I, as I'd known him before, he would make no, a, no, a fantastic I, I, I chief justice. The best, don't mention names, because that's not the way to go. This is a, this is a position where we are, we are, I think we are the only country and Israel who publicly advertise the position of chief justice. No other country in the world advertise. So it will be advertised. Last time when we advertised, someone from New Zealand applied. <laughs> someone from New Zealand a applied. Kenyan. No, uh, a New, New Zealander. Zealander, Mzungu. So, it is that transparent. So it, it's a, it's the system that we should be concerned about, not about the individual. And is the system solid? The system is solid. It will be... The, J, the JSC yes, is in yes. good shape? It's in a good shape. Uh -huh. I mean, I know many people who are there, mm -hmm. men and women of very good integrity. So it's the process we should be concerned. They will advertise. It will be put in the papers that these are the following people who, who have applied. If you have complained, you can say so and so. Then, uh, like last time, they will uh, interview in an open process. It will be televised to the country. Then even Kenyans can see, for example, that that's a good candidate, this is a bad candidate, those kind of things. Then in terms of that, you know, if there is a judge, you look at their records, all these things. So, and I think it's important for Kenyans to be engaged in that process because it's very important. Mm. And then I'm sure we will get a good lady or a man yeah. who is qualified for the would job. Would you want to see a lady, Chief Justice? Would you uh, want to see that? Why not? Why not? I mean, the judiciary is progressive. You know, we are talking about two-third majority. I think uh, the high, the court of appeal is almost 50-50. The high court is almost 50-50. In the magistracy, there are more women than men. It's only the Supreme Court. We have two, and I will recommend we have also three ladies in the Supreme Court and four men. The, 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 there's, there's, the, 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 well, among the ladies, I, I, I clearly have a lot of respect for this, this lady. Um, Mwangi, what's it called? Well, well, job. Dungo. No, 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 no. <laughs> this judge, this judge, uh, this lady judge. Uh, the high court, the court. High court. The, the, you will come. Yes, uh, Mumbi. 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 Ah. Yes. 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 Mumbi, yes. Ah. I have a hell of a lot of respect yeah. for Mumbi. Solid. Very solid. Very solid. solid. Huh? Very, very, solid. solid. Very, very solid. Impeccable. And, and, and really. to be very honest to you, I would, I would love to see a situation in which Mumbi is there. Is, is, is the Chief Justice wow. in this country. Okay. Uh, serious, serious, I'm telling you, serious. We need to really have to go back on quite a bit of soul searching. Yeah. And, and she ends up being, you She's know, head, heads and shoulders above everybody. Wow. General, let's take everybody. another break. Come back and talk yeah. about the way forward, okay? Yeah. You still haven't told me who Nelson Harvey is. I really have no idea. Can you tell me who is? I have no idea. But he says this is one of his former students. No, no, actually, I... But I of I'm, course, but... but, but, but you but fail him but or what? The class is no, no, no. It's my suspicion he was my former student. I have no idea who he is. Why is he attacking you so much on Twitter? I, how many people attack me that I don't know? <laughs> you fear nobody, do you? I fear only God. <laughs> Keep tweeting. I will read your tweet. I promise. At Faramalim, at Ahmed Nasir Law, at Koinanga Jeff. The hashtag politics 101 i tell you when these two show up you know it's all about this <laughs> jeff greenanga live at the villa rosa kempinski takes a break we'll be back in a moment <laughs>